Hello, Namaste. Today I am going to show you a video to show method of drawing ray diagram of image formed by convex lens and concave lens. So to draw the image formed by a lens, concave lens or convex lens. Before starting the drawing, let us discuss about the lens. The lens is a piece of transparent glass medium having at least one curved surface out of two bounded surface. So there are two types of lens. One is convex lens, another is concave lens. Okay, the convex lens which is thicker in middle and thinner at the edge, look at here, thicker in middle and thinner at edge and concave lens which is thinner at the middle and thicker at the edge. So, the lens which is thicker at the middle and thinner at the edge is known as convex lens and the lens which is thinner at the middle and thicker at the edge is known as concave lens and convex lens is known as converging lens because it converges the light rays. Suppose this is a principal axis and it is a focus F then the light rays coming from the object converges to a point F. Okay, converges point to F. So convex lens is known as converging lens. Similarly in concave lens, the light rays coming from the object and parallel to the principal axis diverges. Okay, so concave lens is also known as divergence lens. Now, we discuss about the law of refraction through the lens. So, the law of refraction, look at here, this is optical center, it is a principal axis, okay, then the light rays coming from the object parallel to the principal axis always passes through the focus, principal focus, F. Similarly, the light rays parallel to principal axis always passes through the principal focus yeah so to draw the ray diagram we have to refract the light rays passing through f okay the rays which is parallel to principal axis always passes through f after refractions but in the case of concave lens The parallel rays to the principal axis diverges. So it's refracted back, you know, the it converges at the same side of the object. If it is object here, then the light rays converges to the same side of the object. In the case of concave lens as the light rays refracted in case of concave lens and and the light rays incident through a principal axis do not bend or do not deviate it goes straight okay it goes straight 
and the light rays passing through the optical center o oh, also do not deviate it goes straight so mainly we have a three rules of drawing the ray diagram of image formed by a lens so first rule is light rays parallel to principal axis passes through principal focus f after refraction okay and second law is light rays passes through optical center do not bend it goes straight and the third is light rays incident through principal axis you know incident through principal axis also do not bend it goes straight so while drawing the ray diagram we have to consider these three points you have to remember these three points okay first light rays parallel to the optical a uh, principal axis passes through the principal focus f after refractions and light rays passes through optical center do not bend it goes straight like this and light rays incident through principal axis also do not bend it goes straight like this okay so now we go to the I will go to draw the ray diagram. Let us see the topics. To draw ray diagram to show image formed by convex lens when object is kept beyond 2F, just behind 2F. Okay? So, to draw the ray diagram, first of all, we draw a lens, we fix optical center, we fix focal length and principal focus. Then we follow the rules of refraction through a lens. First of all, to draw the lens, we draw a straight line. Okay, the straight line. Suppose this straight line is x and y. Let us choose a point on that straight line O, which is to be the principal, sorry, which is to be the optical center of the lens. Then, now we choose the focal length. Generally, we choose the focal length if it is not given. Uh, suppose the focal length is 2.5. We have already measured here 2.5. Look at here. 2.5. Okay. So, take the arc length of 2.5 keeping the pointer to O and another 2.5 to side of X and similarly on the side of Y. 2.5, 2.5, you know, taking arc of 2.5. So, this would be the 
focal length of the lens f 1f 2f because it is two times 1f 2f now we draw a lens we are going to draw the convex lens so to draw the convex lens this pointer should be fixed in f's and just exceed of by a certain distance you can choose any length okay greater than of take an arc greater than of and draw an arc and from both side from one f from side y and another arc from f in the side of x now here we have drawn the convex lens so join the end of this lens by incomplete line like this now this is the very preliminary case while drawing ray diagram what we do i repeat it once again first of all draw a straight line x y and then fixed a point o which will become the optical center and then choose the focal length if it is not given if it is given then you just take arc length by compass using compass okay and then you take an arc from f to towards o taking greater than of arc length greater than of and with the same arc take the another arc from f o from the side of x like this you form the convex lens then after drawing the lens now we have to fix the object so this object can be fixed in many ways so here we have to fix the object beyond 2f because object is kept beyond 2f sometimes we have to fix object 2f okay here we, ha we have to keep kept the object beyond 2f so object is represented by the straight line okay so draw the object height of object just a less than the lens you know just so look at this object beyond 2f say this object is ab okay now we follow the law of refraction through a lens what is the first step the first stage is the ray parallel to principal axis axis ray parallel to principal axis passes through this is the ray parallel to principal axis and this ray passes through f this ray passes through f so this ray passes through f it converges and passes through f similarly another law number 2 law the light rays through optical center do not bend Two optical center do not bend, and another ray incidence through the principal axis goes straight, and this also goes straight. So now, where the image is formed, look at here. The point of intersections between two refracted rays will. Be the image 
we draw a line pro perpendicular to principal axis from this point of intersections to the image to draw the image so now we give the name look at there the object a this object a you know has the image a dash here similarly the another rays in the same point here so this is the image of a and similarly the image of b is formed at this foot of the perpendicular so now the image is formed and this completes the ray diagram of you know the image formed by convex lens when object is kept beyond the 2f so now we discuss about the characteristics of the image so look at here first of all the object is above of principal axis but here the object is below the principal axis you know a dash b dash the top is below the principal axis so the characteristics of the image are means are first one is is inverted okay so if we place screen here screen to this side then we can cast that image on the screen so the real, real image is formed so the image is real and it is formed in the other side of the object and third now let us consider the height a b and the height of image a prime b prime it is smaller the image is smaller than object so diminished image is formed this is the main characters okay and the image is formed between f and 2f you know the image is formed between f and 2f okay look at this the image and next this type of image formation is used in photographic camera okay this type of image formation is used in photographic camera this type of image formation is used in photographic camera this is the utility of utility of this type of formation of image okay okay i think this video have supported you in the preparation of see examinations look at here one thing you have to remember the placement of the object 
you know sometimes it may be beyond 2f if the object is between 2f and f you have to place the object here okay somewhere between 2f and f if the object is placed you know kept at lens and focal point then you have to place somewhere here okay then you have to follow the three rules of laws of refraction through a lens and to form an image to find the image to refine the image just look at the point of intersections between the two refracted rays two refracted rays and draw a perpendicular from that point of intersections to the principal axis and that will give you the image so thank you for watching this video